Yeah, so when I went to the, so when I went to the store to get the paint and he told me he could match it and and then uh, I left the I I had him go back and Benjamin Moore paint is very expensive and I asked him, "Well, how much is it going to cost?" And uh, he said, "Oh, but 20 25 dollars, maybe $30 or something. I'm okay, whatever." And then he says 29.99. Then he goes into the back he comes out, mixes it up, didn't even mix it up properly, wasn't even the same color, didn't mention anything. It wasn't an acrylic flat finish, it was exterior gloss. And then he, he throws me a price. 40, he asked me if I have an account there. No, I don't have an account there. $45 he was trying to charge me for one gallon of paint, about flipped. Finally, finally, well, let's see if I let's see what I can do for you. Let's see what I can do for you. It, ultimately, it was $39.63 with, with tax. It wasn't even the right stuff. I told him I wasn't happy with it. He says, leave the paint with him. He'll, he'll match it. He had other customers in front of him. I told, I told him that it needed to be the same. I told him it needed to be a flat finish, acrylic. Acrylic flat finish doesn't mean flat finish. It means almost like a, like a satin finish or an eggshell type finish and that's when I that's when I came back to the house and I saw one more paint can here and I and I'm looking at it and it's a satin finish exterior and I couldn't really tell what color it was because when they when they mixed it they didn't put a little dab here so I wasn't I wasn't quite sure I looked on the back it looked looked browner but then after I mixed I so I mixed it up on my stick here and then um, I held it up to where I was going to paint and this was from that old can this right here and I put and I put some on I thought hey you know what I think that's that's what they did they used this instead of the old paint because this was 2005 stuff and they knew it was all crummy and so six or seven years later they got this instead of that to mimic that particular product acrylic flat is almost like a satin finish and here it is satin finish exterior I mixed it up and I thought yep that's what I need so there's another tip for you I had all of these cans I had more cans than this that the that the old the previous owner left in the garage. I opened them all up. Can you believe I opened up just about every single one except this can? Because I thought, when I looked at it, I thought, oh, that's too brown. I don't know, I don't know what they use that for. But after I mixed it up, it's kind of a brown, green, sludgy color. And that's what I wanted for those steps. And I looked around on the outside of the house and, and the gate. The, the exterior gate is the same color and there was some trim that was the same color and I thought hey that's what they did they repainted I'm trying to be an investigator now they repainted after 2005 they repainted probably in probably seven eight years later and they mixed this up to match from before and they repainted everything with this so I've decided hey you know what I do have it and this thing is full all the way up to about here. I mixed it up and sure enough, that is the color that I want. So I called up the paint store and I said, you know what? I already had a bad taste in my mouth for it. I, wasn't, I didn't want to spend $40. I have never in my life spent $40 for one gallon of paint. I'm just not going to do it. And plus, I had it, okay? So I called up the paint store, told them, hey, cancel my order. I'll come back and pick up the paint. I've got about this much paint in, in that other container, but it's all sludgy. It's almost like paste. But I'll, I'll, I'll pick it up just, I don't know. I don't think I'll ever use it. I'll probably end up throwing it away. But uh, anyways, that's my little paint story that I didn't mix up all of the different gallons. If you got all these gallons in, in your garage, make sure you open them all up and you, and you and you mark them. I'm going to end up marking 
them put, putting some blue tape on somewhere and writing where it's supposed to go or something. Or, or take a picture, take a picture of that with the name on it that says exterior stairs, you know? And then you have a picture of it on your phone or you, you have it written down, you got it in your file cabinet or something like that. You, Cause you'll think, oh, I'll remember what that paint's for. Ah, I'll, I'll remember it five years later. You, you think you, you got five paint cans and you're like, okay, which is which? Well, I should have marked them, okay? There's another tip for you as you're getting ready to paint. Good luck. One last thing, Here's this is bonus material. If you're still watching and you've got a paint and it's from Kelly Moore, but usually you shop at Home Depot or whatever, but you, they don't have Kelly Moore and you end up going to a Kelly Moore paint store. Usually it's like a commercial paint store and they'll help you out. They'll take care of you and all that kind of stuff. Just know that if you don't have an account with them, and chances are you won't because you won't have a commercial account with them, the paint is going to cost you more. It's going to cost you more than if you were a contractor. So just keep that in mind. So if you know that they have to match it up and maybe you don't mind having it not be from Kelly Moore, maybe you want to go to Home Depot, maybe you want to go to Ace, maybe you want to go to Lowe's and get something that's comparable to this product here. You can take your old paint can with you. They'll match it up for you. They'll get you something that's, that's similar, comparable and maybe it doesn't cost you as much. There's a tip for you. And if you end up saying, no, I'm gonna go to, a, I'm, I'm going to a regular paint store. I'm going to Sherwin-Williams because it's Sherwin-Williams paint or something. Not that this one is, this is Kelly Moore too, but maybe you wanna go to Sherwin-Williams. Ask them for, hey, you know, you know, I'm just a, I'm just a mom, momsy popsy guy, and I don't have an account with you. I, I'm just trying to do some work around the house, and I'd like to get the paint from you, but I want contractor's price. Can you give me contractor's price? Just ask them. Usually, they will accommodate you. But if 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 you don't ask them that, chances are they're going to give you top price. For their paint because you don't have an account with them okay remember that when you go to the paint store now see here I've still got my my paint tray my paint trays I got two of them, two little plastic inserts here and I have not washed this out once yet I I've, I've had stain in there or the, the mold killing primer in there a couple different times I've even had my roofing material uh, substrate that I put on I don't know if you call it substrate or not but the the it's like mastic but you can put it on with the paint roller put that in there put more primer in there and I'm just gonna pour my primer straight in here it's all nice and dry this is fine and even after a few more and this builds up more I'll just I can take it and I can just rip it right out of there and keep using that same plastic tray if I want okay now am I going to show you the whole thing I don't think I'm going to show you the whole thing I might show you I might show you one or two steps or something but I've already shown you how how to paint these steps and what I'm going to do and what's all involved and stuff and and it's not that big of a deal I'm just taking that and I've got my my four inch mini roller here and I'm gonna I'm gonna use that on there and my two inch throwaway paintbrush look at that it's still it's still in pretty good shape i've used this for this entire project putting different things on using that as a paintbrush putting this roofing material on around the edges um, putting it on underneath underneath this floor when i when i was treating everything and painting all of the existing uh, OSB plywood underneath there and the 2 by 6s and all that kind of stuff. You saw that. If you didn't see it, you can go to my channel and you can find that under playlists, dry rot, deck repairs. And 
I think I'm still going to use the same the same roller cover. It's a little stiff. I've washed it out. I've used it several times, and I'm going to try it out a little bit. If, worst case scenario, I've got another paint cover I can use if I need to. Okay, that's that's it. And then here's my little my little doohickey that I that I put on the paint bucket, and that kind of helps me pour it and stuff. That way the paint doesn't doesn't run all the way all the way on the back side of this and stuff. Okay, and I, and I can use this edge to wipe off my paintbrush and stuff. And I'm good to go. All right. Enough of that. Got to get to work. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos.